Well, good morning, folks, and a very pleasant welcome to the morning show. Good morning, Victoria. Glad to see you on board. And um, wow, what a weekend. And uh, we have, uh, we kind of flexed our muscles and expanded our uh, reach. And I'm reaching out to... Um, particularly the people in Elwood, Wampum, um, and Hermitage. Um, and I'm going to tell you what we're talking about. It was the weekend uh, parade downtown. Uh, just a whole bunch of good things. And uh, a good time had by all, especially those who are sometimes... A little more uh, critical or discerning in taste. So uh, we're going to talk about all that. The morning show is straight ahead. The train is on the tracks. And morning show on this beautiful Monday morning before Thanksgiving is straight ahead for you. The train. Trusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. Come to Big Polly's Sports Bar in Newcastle. The place is spacious with all the seating you'll need and a huge menu that features wings, pizza, sandwiches, burgers, and fries. Big Polly's is just right to watch the game. There's plenty of parking, too. Big Polly's Sports Bar in Newcastle. Hello, friends. Pinella Brothers, 1701 Hamilton Street, provided funding for this program. Great food and drink, Pinella Brothers. Okay, we're back, and um, boy, I, you know, all of a sudden I feel real, real good about a whole bunch of things, um, and. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm busting at the seams a little bit, but I, I, I do have to um, talk about this. First of all, if you didn't watch our programming on Saturday, on which we were on and we broadcast straight for about eight, nine hours, you missed Newcastle at its very finest, okay? We tied the craft show and Christmas festival at St. Mary's. And the Hoyt decorating the inside of those two beautiful mansions. And we did a craft and we interviewed actors that were in movies from Newcastle and the directors and also the parade, the light up night, the food vendors downtown. This was a very, very spectacular event put on by 
I, and I want everybody to take credit. New Visions, uh, everybody that had something going on. It was absolutely breathtaking. Now, uh, Larry McCree, and, and, and this is Larry thanks good man, as he put up with uh, Gary Steiger, always watching NCTV 45. And I'm going through this mailbag for a reason. Christine Acid Suber, thanks for watching. Life is good here, and this is Tay, and I and I, I apologize, Tay. I can't a real person. I just can't say her last name because I have a, a problem pronouncing that. And um, as uh, we went through, Sam Bonfield, um, Sam was questioning some of our video. Now, let me tell you what we did, and Sam, y you have to understand, and I'm reaching over. See, this says Media Mentor Award, okay? And I think you can see it. And I'm not trying to um, beat a dead horse, but... We had two, uh, a senior and a junior, and the senior was my son, high school kids, that were actually the mobile eye so that we could get everything back to you during our broadcast day for everybody. That's why we won the Media Mentor Award, folks. If you, if you missed it, Community Station in Newcastle, Community Television, alive and well and kicking. Now, after all that, I was complimented by uh, John, who told me that I was a Jesus lover. John couldn't stop there. He um, decided to swear on, and we blocked and reported John, okay, because he didn't like the co-hosts. And uh, Mike ended up telling him to... Uh, keep watching to stay informed and then I didn't understand Mike's following comment but he was enjoying everything that was going on and commented about tools at once so um, I personally wanted to thank Floyd Jackson and Jim Kahn for stopping by and Mr. Padula for um, his kind words, comments and uh, everything like that because it was very uh, it was nice to see people come down town and have a good time. Now, Lorenza, welcome to NCTV 45, and I'll just say Millie. Um, St. Pedro Pia, uh, they're watching us in Italy, okay, so uh, just so you don't think I don't know that. Um, two fat guys in an oven, they have a lot of great food, and they're a proud sponsor of NCTV45, and, uh, I definitely think you need to get down there. Uh, Larry McCree, thanks again, Broadcasting Mass, uh, 
and uh, no problem, Larry. And let me go on to say, um, for those that called me a Jesus lover, all guilty as charged, uh, I'm a Roman Catholic. Um, I go to church on Sunday, sometimes Saturday night, and um, or vice versa. Um, I love my faith, and I'm a graduate of Duquesne, and uh, I love going out to Notre Dame for a whole bunch of reasons. It just doesn't have to be a football or basketball or hockey or baseball game. So, uh, guilty as charged on that one. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, Floyd Jackson, thank you for stopping by. Kathy uh, Melanchak, good. Thank you for being part. Abdu, thank you. Uh, totally appreciate it. Uh, Bradley, Charmaine Bradley and Jerry Lombardo, thanks for sharing. Um, Alexander, Alex Samuels, thank you for being part of NCTV45. And Lynn Nacera, thanks for liking NCTV45.com. Ben Kosciuszko, thank you for joining NCTV45. This list is going to go on, folks, so I'm just going to really go fast. Carl Vizdak, Jeremy Ramos, um, Missy Kalaluka, Megan Dilio, Michael Dilio, uh, Marlene Patsy McCracken, happy birthday, Connie Siemens, okay, and, um, now that gives you a bunch of people there. Dave, thanks for joining NCTV45. Grandma number nine, <laughs> Jerry Lombardo, thanks for sharing. Caroline McNeil, thanks for following NCTV45. Thomas Janock, Joanne Bellano de Caesar, thank you and hope you enjoyed Mass. Uh, David Michael Guido, thank you for watching. And uh, as we get to just a bunch of people on uh, this um, whole deal, <laughs> uh, and uh, it was a very um, it was a very enlightening day as uh, we we had people watching from all over and uh, I definitely wanted to thank them. So we got to that and um, now we're going to hear with from these fine people with the Cedar Sports Report. And I'll go over just a little bit of sports. But we got a lot more to go for. So hang in there. Your family and friends will be pleased if you suggest dining at Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant in Newcastle. Lamb and chicken dishes, stuffed grape leaves, tabbouleh, hummus, kibbe, and so much more from their huge menu. When you're looking for something different for your dining experience, then Mary's is the answer. Many of their customers come in from nearby counties. Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant, located on Long Avenue in Newcastle. Call 724-652-2447. Hello, friends, and it's Los Amigos. Uh, let me tell you what, great food. Whether you get the chimichangas, enchiladas, tacos, whatever you get, you're going to love them. The nice, friendly atmosphere. Stop by. Tell them NCTV45 sent you. It's Los Amigos sponsoring this program. Get the dance bar before the rooster crows. Yes, it's Tony's Lounge. Complete with a great bar, pool, yes, jukebox, 
and a great seating area that is unbelievable it'll make you hungry and a wide selection to choose from including wings yes specials too don't monkey around get the tony's lounge Did you ever have a sneeze that it was coming out, that it stopped coming out? Um, in the next following days, we are going to try desperately to um, get our hockey footage up. Um, and let me kind of talk to you about anybody that knows anybody, that knows anybody. I don't want to sound like, uh, you know, the hearings in Washington, but maybe there's somebody out there that um, is sales savvy, that legs going out, a few customers a week, just as a part-time, full-time job. They can name it. We could use them. And if there's somebody that maybe wants to volunteer their time, likes typing, um, we could use them. Matter of fact, we could use everybody and everything. There's so much going on here, so much good news. We're being taken over like a tidal wave. And I throw that out to anybody who's there that might... Um, be interested. So, um, just as a just as a tidbit of excitement, there you go. Now, uh, November holidays, and um, <coughs> we're going to um, kind of recap this from the twenty. Feature, future Teachers Day of America was last Wednesday. National Pay Back Your Parents Day was also Wednesday. And Transgender Day of Remembrance was last Wednesday. University Children's Day last Wednesday. Great American Smoke Out, Thursday. National Rural Health Day, Thursday. National Stuffing Day, Thursday. World Television Day, Thursday. Go for a ride. That was Friday. And Saturday, International Survivors of Suicide Day. National Adoption Day, Saturday. National Ex Expresso Day, Saturday. And guess what? Sunday, there was no holiday. Nobody took Sunday the 20th. Uh, fourth, okay, but um, to my good friend out there, that it was the feast of Christ the King to prepare you for getting ready for Christmas. So I had to say that to John, you know, as uh, you know, he, he thinks of picking on people's religions, he got a brain like a thimble today is International Day of Elimination of Violence Against Women. So, um, there you go, a couple uh, on your November holidays, and this day in history, <coughs> as I all get choked up, <coughs> the, <coughs> the eighth year of 
Peter Sanders mousetrap opens in London. And uh, wow. The mousetrap by Agatha Christie. Uh, so I don't know how historical that is, but ah, it happened. Now, uh, let's get to some things going on. And uh, there you go. If you watch the parade, they had float winners. New Hope Wesleyan Church, first place. Lawrence County Habitat for Humanity, second place in Dawn Services, third place. So, um, that uh, really, uh, th they were beautiful floats. There were also beautiful balloons in the parade, and uh, hats off to them. They want you to know at Bill's Bake Shop and Two Fat Guys in a Bill's Bake Shop. Their cookie lists are out. Make sure you call Bill's Bake Shop. If you don't call them, call Two Fat Guys in an Oven. They have everything from pizza sales down to white chocolate mac and macadamia nuts. Um, they have bread in two-pound stuffing packages. Um, pickup is the 23rd and the 21st unless otherwise specified to be earlier. We broadcast from the beautiful, beautiful... Uh, majestic. They have uh, apartments for rent, uh, and they're very reasonable. A lot of uh, professional people living in the apartments now. It's it's really a nice place. Five seventy five and up. I see people. Uh, one guy he um, works as an insurance uh, district manager for a company. Jogs in the morning, a lot more. You know, I have coffee and donuts. He goes out for a run. <laughs> it's just everybody. I run over to Duncan. He runs around the block. I, I don't know. I run out for a pizza. He runs someplace else. Mary Turner's Day Spa is having mint. They say two fat guys in an oven. Jewelry, candles, and gifts, and um, closed by Inspired Teas. Saturday, the 30th, 2 to 6, 2539 Wilmington Road in Newcastle. So uh, make sure that you check that out. Parade of Lights with Santa, December 14th, Nishanik. Uh, free horse drawn carriage and more. So they're going to have a good time out there at Pearson Park. And uh, here's uh, Black and Gold. Uh, tailgate Party, Union Township Fire Hall, Steelers, Browns, December 1st, 1230, game at 1. BYOB, uh, all proceeds benefit Union Area Class. Must be over 21 to enter. So, um, a few things going on there. Now it's time for sport, or we did sports. How about weather? And uh, let's go to Lawrence County 45 weather. And um, currently in what I call the greatest castle in the world, 38 degrees. Overcast, but not really. I mean, I see a lot of blue. Uh, 29.78 is uh, the barometric pressure. 34 degrees is the dew point and visibility 10 miles. Now, um, are you wondering about the radar? Well, if you are, here you go. And uh, 
it's going to be clear. I'm going to tell you right now, I already know because phew, absolutely perfect shot. So how is your week looking? Well, let's, uh, let's just get it like this and uh, don't worry about me. Today, sunny and 49, going to feel great. And uh, tonight, partly cloudy, 38. Tuesday, sunshine and 53. Tuesday night, now's when it gets really bad. Uh, Tuesday night, here comes the showers, rain, 43 overnight. And then rain comes in on Wednesday, 58, rain Wednesday night, 33, Thanksgiving Day, mostly cloudy, and 40. And then Thursday night, mostly cloudy, 29. Wilmington, football, 42. And, uh, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be great for the game because it's only going down to 30. Donnie Fox, you got to give me a call for a trophy sometime. Uh, as me and Donnie go back way back, and uh, I miss his great company and uh, time we spent together. Emily Booth, Justin Degress, thanks for watching NCTV 45. Let's hear from these sponsors. We'll be right back. Take a step back into time at Lombardo's Apothecary at 1230 South Mill Street. We'll take you back in time. Take you back in time to make you feel better. They have cards, snacks, all kind of toiletries and health and beauty aids that will make you feel great. They also have prescriptions too. It's Lombardo's Apothecary. Call 724-654-8100. The Pokeberry Exchange at 41 North Mercer Street has gifts galore that'll make you want to explore. Lamps, homemade lamps of every shape and color that will excite any room in your house. Wind chimes hang from the door to give that sweet sound. Sweet soaps and teas, embroidered towels, and much more. It's the Pokeberry Exchange. It's yours to explore. If you're having a party, then Keystone Specialty is the place you need to go. Yes, they have every party supply that you can imagine. Planning that wedding, that graduation, or maybe it's just that big game that's coming up. Go to Keystone Specialty party supplies, and so much more. Remember, they have those fall decorations, winter, spring, and summer. It's Keystone Specialty on the south side of Newcastle, Mill Street. Steel City Sports Bar and Grill. A great place to watch the game with plenty of TVs. Steel City Bar and Grill offers good food, a friendly atmosphere, live music, and of course, ice cold beer. Stop by and check them out at 3108 New Butler Road, Newcastle, PA. Steel City Sports Bar and Grill. And the special thanks also going out to Tuscany Squares, proud sponsor of our weather. And um, helpful hints, um, and this heading into the holidays, there's so many I can give you. 
a lot of people, and I'm not even going with the book. I, I'm going to tell you this because I found it to be exactly accurate. You know, for those of you to put a live Christmas tree up, here is your helpful hint. Okay. And uh, guys, I don't want to hear this is what you do when your wife's around. Get an aspirin. Put it in the bottom of the tree stand that takes the water. Pour in a cup of ginger ale and fill the rest with warm water. And um, the tree needles will last longer. Always make sure to give it a fresh cut. As my wife reminds me. And then I take some more aspirin. Now, um, here you go. How to be your wife's best friend. Go to look at antiques together or purchase them. Now, you know, here's a great idea. Want to be your wife's best friend? No questions asked. Here's what you got to do. Take her to one of our fine establishments and just enjoy all the great things, all the great food that we have right here at the greatest castle in the world. She'll be, it'll be like a, a date and uh, she'll love it. Now, as I'm waving the people go by our window, um, let's check this out. We'll be right back. Special thanks going out to Town Mall Pizza for sponsorship of this program, located in the Cascade Galleria, Newcastle. Unit.com This program furnished by the Mad Unit, Mobile Auto Detailing, C. Michael Sad at the madunit.com Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450 Newcastle's community television station And uh, we're back just like that. And uh, thank you to all my loyal viewers, all NCTV45's loyal viewers, loyal helpers, loyal donators, loyal sponsors, and everybody else that makes community television possible right here in Newcastle, Lawrence County. And don't be afraid to go to NC nctv45.com there's a donate button right there you can hit the donate button and feel free to donate would love to have you and uh, just uh, a heads up there make sure that you tell a friend and have a friend tell a friend about nctv45 They'll be glad you did. And when they say, oh, I don't watch a lot of television, you tell them that NCTV 45, right here in Newcastle, Lawrence County, were available anytime on your time. Yes, a train that runs on your schedule, why, that's NCTV 45, right here in Newcastle, Lawrence County. And um, here's a, a little as we get through.
to um, here's a little autumn in New York, even though we got autumn in Pennsylvania. As your song of the day, have a great day. Make sure you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the County of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you again real soon. Thank you.